to prove two triangles congruent and none of the proof is going to be filled in. So you might want to write this down in your notes or you can just follow along. We talked about yesterday, you always start with a given. You always start with a given and you see if anything can follow from the given. So let's start with a given. TR and QS bisect each other. So that's given. I'm going to cross it off because I've used it. And you literally just write it down word for word. You just write down the given. Next, you see, okay, what follows from that statement? What does it mean if a segment has been bisected? Well, if a segment's been bisected, then I have two congruent segments. So you add markings to your picture, but when you add a marking, you have to document it. Good, 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 good. Segment TP is congruent to segment PR. What's the reason? The reason is definition of segment bisector. Well, those segments were bisecting each other. So we have more information. We know that SQ was also bisected. So now we know SP is congruent to PQ. Also, definition of segment bisector. Then you say to yourself, if I were trying to see if these were congruent, what would I do next? Well, good. I would add vertical angle markings. Angle one, when you add something to your picture, you have to document it. When you add something to your picture, you have to write it down. Angle one is congruent to angle two. Why? Good. Vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. Lastly, the last step. There is no guessing here. Every time, the last step is the proof. Triangle QPR is congruent to triangle SPT. And what's the reason? Very good. Y'all have it. Side, angle, side. End of proof. Eric, you're actually up first. What's our first statement and reason? Eric, what's our first statement and reason? Good. And reason? Good. Relina, what's number two? What happens when two segments are parallel, lines are parallel? Relina, what's number two? Yeah, so if these lines are parallel, then you need to make the letter Z. If you make the letter Z, you see that these angles are congruent. So you need to write it down that they're congruent. Angle three is congruent to angle four. And what's the reason? If parallel, then alternate interior angles are congruent. So that's the follow-up from number one. Okay, Tahir, but that's not the way we're going to do it. We're going to do the given and then what happens. And then we'll use another given and what happens with that one. Okay? Next one. BC is congruent to AD. That's what Relina said. Thank you. That one's given. Johan, what comes after that? Okay, so now we're saying on number three, I wrote the wrong symbol, it is parallel. On number three, we're saying that BC is parallel to AD. BC is parallel to AD. You have to follow the logic. If those two segments are parallel, what do you get to mark? What happens? What comes after that? Well, if those are parallel, the conclusion is angle one is congruent to angle two. That's the conclusion 
to those being parallel. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And what's the reason? It's the same reason as last time. If parallel, then alternate interior angles are congruent. Now we can do yours, Johan. Now, okay, I'll come back to that, Johan. Now we can do yours. Segment AC is congruent to segment AC. We never use the common segment theorem because I didn't even really go over that with y'all in class. We used to teach it, now we don't. Just cross that one out. You will never use the common segment theorem. What is number five? Good. Reflexive property. It's number one on your paper. Okay, now Johan said, why couldn't we just do side, side, side and be done with it? Well, guys, Sides being parallel is not the same as sides being congruent. AB is not congruent to CD. This is parallel, parallel. It is not congruent. So these are not guilty by side, side, side. Okay, number six, Araceli. Do you know number six? So Araceli said that our triangles are congruent. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA by angle side angle. Very good. Quan, what comes last? So now the last step is always the proof. Every time, all the time, that is the last step. Angle B is congruent to angle D. How do we know that B is congruent to D? By C, P, C, T, C. End of proof.